Welcome back everyone, this is Kilgan with an extra Super Mario Sun Land Let's Play. I'm going to demonstrate stage 4 with Marisa so you get to see those giant mushrooms there and how exactly those work. And I'm going to go flying all over the place and almost run into some white guys. So you're going from 2 head proportion to 3. Which, uh, and as uh, someone commented and pointed out exactly how they work, they, um, these giant mushrooms double your head proportion like that. Now I'm 6, now I'm really big and I can shoot fireballs. Wait, look at that. And fireballs will kill guys, and they'll also break bricks and whatnot. And are generally very useful. Uh, if you get hit in this state, you will be dropped back down to three. Three heavy proportions, so it won't be like... You get hit and you drop back down to two, and the next hit will kill you or anything like that. Yeah, the, the one... The one catch with being six head proportion is that you're suddenly very big and that you're a lot easier to hit once in there. No, just another mushroom. Mushrooms just turn into points once once you're big enough. Here's another one. This will just turn into more points, turn into ten actually as it turns out. Uh, I thought it would I thought it would give me the eight head proportion, which is the invincibility star I get to see the awesomeness that is eight head proportion body stuff, but I guess not. That'll probably show up in a later level. I'll demo that again when it shows up. The other thing about the fireballs is that as, as useful as they are, in terms of killing enemies, they're really only good for... Oh, look at that. I, that's not gonna matter at this point. They're really only useful for killing the, the bouncing blue guys, because the, because they go right over the the, uh, the the falling in the hole there. They go right over the, um, the white ones and the red ones, because those are on ground level. Alright, this was a mushroom, so I want to get that. Be very careful. Oh, look out. Duh! Alright, mushroom grabbed, and now I can get the bigger one. Right here, maybe, except I need to... Crap! Alright, I know how I'm going to do this. Oh, I guess not. Oh well. Alright, we're going to forget about it then. And we're going to jump in a hole. So good at this! Easier way to get this mushroom. Alright, now... Okay. Right, ignore those guys. Let's see if we can actually do this this time. Nope! Alright, whatever. Let's just run through the rest of the stage then. Watching out for guys. I like how in this game that the guys will bounce off of each other like that. I think that's that's a, a pretty neat touch. Tassifro is very good at adding neat things to the game. So little touches. Guy go away. Aw. Something for another super mushroom. Oh well. By the way, in case you did watch the entirety of the uh, the Mega Mari playthrough. If you remember the, if you remember the the Marisa clone boss, that was that was the super mushroom. That was what she grabbed to make herself super Marisa. And in fact, the sprite they used, I believe, is is pretty much the eight head proportion sprite. So there you go. That's how the 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 taller mushrooms there work. And now back to Alice.